Atomic Habits by James Clear is a practical guide to creating good habits and breaking bad ones. The book emphasizes the power of small, consistent actions over time. Here are a few tips. If you can improve by 1% every day, at the end of a year you will be 37 times better. Compound effects, habits, like compound interest, build on themselves over time. A small improvement of 1% each day may seem insignificant in the moment, but over the course of a year, it adds up to a whopping 37x improvement. This principle applies to both positive and negative habits. Consistency is key. The power of habits lies in their consistency, not in their individual impact. Making small, easy changes and sticking to them is more effective than trying to make big, unsustainable changes. For example, read one page a day instead of trying to read an entire book in one sitting. Do one swim a day instead of aiming for an hour of exercise. Save small amounts consistently rather than trying to save a large amount sporadically. Long-term view. The true impact of habits is often invisible in the short term. Like a slowly melting frost, progress may be imperceptible until a critical threshold is reached. Patience and persistence are necessary to reap the benefits of good habits. Two, identity-based habits last longer. Every action you take is a vote for the type of person you want to become. Identity shapes behavior. Instead of focusing solely on results, focus on becoming the type of person who can achieve those results. For example, instead of setting a goal to lose weight, focus on becoming a healthy person who exercises regularly and eats nutritious food. Habit formation process. Decide what kind of personality you wanna be. Prove yourself with small victories. Reinforce identity through repeated actions. Examples of identity-based habits. I'm a reader instead of I want to read more books. I'm an athlete instead of I want to lose weight. I am a writer instead of I want to write a book. By aligning habits with desirable traditional identities, we create a powerful feedback loop that reinforces positive behaviors and makes them more likely to stick. Three, make habits clear, engaging, easy, and satisfying. The most effective way to change habits is to focus not on what you want to achieve, but on what you want to become. The four laws of behavior change. Make it clear. Visualize the cues that trigger desirable habits. Make it fun. Associate habits with positive feelings or rewards. Make it easy. Reduce friction and lower the activation energy required. Make it rewarding. Provide immediate rewards to reinforce behavior. Practical strategies. Obvious. Use visual cues such as placing a book on your pillow for bedtime reading. Engaging. Pair an enjoyable activity with a necessary activity. Listening to podcasts while exercising. Easy. Reduce the steps required to start a habit. Eat sleeping in sweatpants. Satisfying. Celebrate small wins and visually track progress. By manipulating these four factors, we can significantly increase the likelihood of forming and maintaining positive habits and breaking bad habits. Four, designing the environment is critical to behavior change. You are not reaching the level of your goals. You descend to the level of your systems. The environment overcomes the will. Our environment plays an important role in shaping our behavior. By designing our environment to make good habits easier and bad habits harder, we can significantly increase our chances of success. Environmental design strategies. Eliminate temptations. Keep junk food out of the house. Visualize good habits. Put fruits on the counter. Increase friction for bad habits. Unplug the TV after every use. Reduce friction for good habits. Prepare workout clothes the night before. Context impact and behavior. Habits are often tied to specific contexts or places. Changing the environment can help break old habits and form new ones. For example, if you find it difficult to write at home, work in a coffee shop or library. By consciously shaping our environment, we can make good habits inevitable and bad habits impossible, reducing our dependence on willpower and motivation. Five. 
The two-minute rule helps build new habits. When you start a new habit, it should take less than two minutes. Start small. The two-minute rule states that any new habit should be reduced to an action that takes less than two minutes. This approach makes habits less daunting and makes them more likely to start. Examples of the application of the two-minute rule. Read every night before bed becomes read a page. Do 30 minutes of yoga becomes get out the yoga mat. Study for class becomes open my notes. Run three miles becomes put on my running shoes. Gate habits. These small actions act as gateway habits that lead to the larger behavior you want to adopt. Once you start, it's easier to keep going. The key is to make the habits as easy as possible to let the momentum carry you forward. By focusing on the first two minutes of a desirable habit, we lower the barrier to entry and increase the chances of long-term success. Remember, the goal is not to do a task, but to master the art of presence and automate habits. Six, habit accumulation takes advantage of existing behaviors. One of the best ways to build a new habit is to identify a current habit you do every day and then build your new behavior on top of it. Taking advantage of existing habits. Habit stacking involves pairing a new habit you want to form with an existing habit you do regularly. This technique takes advantage of the neural networks already created in your brain. Habit accumulation formula. After current habit, I will do. Examples of habit accumulation. After pouring my morning coffee, I will meditate for a minute. After taking off my work shoes, I immediately put on my sports clothes. After we sit down to dinner, I'll say one thing I'm thankful for. After going to bed, I will read a page. Creating habit chains. Once you've mastered a habit stack, you can build larger stacks by chaining small habits together. This allows you to take advantage of the natural movement that leads from one behavior to the next. By anchoring new habits to existing habits, we increase the likelihood of remembering to perform the new behavior and make the process of habit formation more automatic and effortless. 7. Immediate rewards reinforce habit formation. What is immediately rewarded is repeated. What is immediately punished is avoided. Immediate versus delayed reward. Our brains are wired to prioritize immediate rewards over long-term benefits. To form lasting habits, we must align our desired behaviors with immediate positive reinforcement. Strategies for creating instant rewards. Make the benefits of good habits more immediate. For example, use a savings app that visually shows your progress. Make consequences for bad habits more immediate. Egg use a website blocker during business hours. Examples of adding instant rewards. After your workout, reward yourself with a relaxing shower or smoothie. After completing a work task, take a short break to do something enjoyable. After saving money, transfer a small amount to a fun fund. Focus on the process. Instead of focusing on long-term results, find ways to enjoy the process of doing the habit. This might include listening to music while exercising or finding a way to study that makes learning more engaging. By providing immediate positive feedback, we can bridge the gap between current actions and future results, making good habits more attractive and sustainable. 8. Tracking habits provides visual evidence of progress. Do not break the chain. Try to keep your habit chain alive. Visual feedback tracking habits provides clear evidence of your progress and can be rewarding in itself. Methods like marking X's on a calendar or using habit tracking apps create a visual representation of your consistency. Benefits of tracking the habit? It serves as a reminder to act. It motivates you to continue the chain. It provides the satisfaction of recording progress. Provides data for self-reflection and improvement. Implementation strategies. Use a physical calendar or notebook. Use habit tracking apps or digital tools. Create a ritual around follow-up planning process. Stay focused on your personal best. Caution against obsession. While tracking can be powerful, it's important not to become too dependent on it. The goal is to practice the habit, 
not to perfect the act of measurement. By providing tangible evidence of progress, habit tracking can significantly increase motivation and make the process of habit formation more engaging and rewarding. 9. Never miss twice to keep the momentum going. A single miss is an accident. Losing twice is the start of a new habit. Avoid breaking the chain of habit. The never miss twice rule acknowledges that perfection is impossible, but emphasizes the importance of getting back on track immediately after a slip up. This prevents temporary failures from becoming permanent deviations. Strategies for implementing never miss twice. Plan for failure and have a backup strategy ready. Focus on getting back on track, not blaming yourself. Use failures as opportunities to improve your approach. Examples, if you miss a workout, do a quick five minute workout the next day. If you have an unhealthy meal, make sure your next meal is nutritious. If you miss a day of writing, write a sentence the next day. Preservation of identity. Even if you can't commit to the habit completely, do something small that reinforces the identity you want to create. This keeps you connected to your goals and prevents the formation of negative habit chains. By adopting a never miss twice mindset, we can maintain momentum and consistency in our habit-forming efforts, even in the face of occasional setbacks. 10. Talent is overrated. Focus on your unique strengths. Genes do not eliminate the need for hard work. They turn it on. They tell us what to work hard on. Play to your strengths. While genetics plays a role in our abilities, it does not determine our destiny. The key is to identify areas where your natural inclinations align with your goals and focus your efforts there. Strategies to exploit your strengths. Experiment with different activities to discover what comes naturally to you. Focus on tasks that energize you, not drain you. Get feedback from others about your perceived strengths. Create your niche. Instead of competing in crowded fields, look for ways to combine your unique set of skills and interests. This approach can lead to creating a personal niche where you have a natural advantage. Continuous improvement. Even in areas where you are naturally gifted, it takes consistent practice and a deliberate effort to master. The goal is to use your genetic predispositions as a starting point, not as a limitation. By focusing on areas where we have natural strengths and interests, we can achieve higher levels of performance and satisfaction in our habit-forming efforts. This approach allows us to work with our biology rather than against it, making success more likely and enjoyable.